Thousands of protesters took to the streets of France on Saturday for the 24th consecutive week of yellow vest protests. It was the first demonstrations following President Emmanuel Macron's speech earlier this week, in which he gave his response to the five-month-old movement. Around 2,000 demonstrators gathered near EU institutions in Strasbourg with police firing tear gas at protesters to push them away from crucial areas. Here in the capital, left-wing parties and several trade unions joined the Yellow Vest March for the first time in a joint response to the president's announcements. Camille Nedelec has a roundup of today's events. Tear gassed and on the ground. After around 2,000 Yellow Vest protesters in Strasbourg tried to march towards the European Parliament, but were stopped by police. Some pushed back. For these Yellow Vests, French President Emmanuel Macron's promises of reform just aren't enough. We didn't believe for a second in his so-called decisive speech. It's just a smokescreen, and we see it from miles away. So let's keep going. We won't put down our yellow vests until we get all our demands met. The measures promised by the French president on Thursday include 5 billion euros worth of tax cuts. But he also told the French people that they need to work harder. And he refused to reinstate a controversial wealth tax. Although in Paris, the mood was calmer. Demonstrators there also believed Emmanuel Macron isn't doing enough. We didn't expect much from him, because he has always said he won't change direction. We knew it. He made minor concessions. He's patching up, a bit over here, a bit over there. That's why people are still protesting. And it wasn't just the usual yellow vests out marching. There were red ones too. Saturday's march was jointly organized by the leftist trade union confederation CGT. Other groups, such as La France Insoumise, also joined in, along with far-left opposition leader Jean-Luc Mélenchon. The yellow and red vests plan to protest together again on the May 1st bank holiday.